welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing a video about makeup and hopefully we can get to my hair a lot of people have been asking me questions about this bob so i just want to do a quick little question and answer at the end of the video so if that's all you came here for you can just skip right to that part of the video but i'm also going to be getting ready hopefully we can do like a little chit chat thing maybe we'll see but let's just get right to the video Alright guys, so throughout this video, you guys are going to be seeing me talk, but don't mind it. I was going to do a chit chat and get ready with me video, but I decided not to. So you're going to see me talking, but do, please just don't mind it. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm putting on my foundation right now and as usual I am dotting it on. I am using the CoverGirl True Match in the color tan and I'm using the L'Oreal Infla Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Coca. So I'm doing this like I said in my previous video because I like to use two foundations so that in the winter time I can, you know, adjust it. In the summertime I can adjust it and I feel like this is just, you know, the right mixture for me so yeah i'm blending that in and i only put on a thin layer of foundation as you can see you can still see a few things underneath the foundation but i'm only doing this because i decided i wanted to do my eyeshadow so yeah i usually like to put my eyeshadow do my eyeshadow before i do my foundation so that's why i only put on a thin layer but yeah i'm concealing my eyelids with the la pro concealer in the color toffee and i'm using my beauty blender my small beauty blender to blend this out So right now I'm using from my eyeshadow palette the color Cookie. Again, this is from the CoverGirl True Naked Goldens palette. And I'm putting this on so that I can prime the concealer that I just put on my eyelids so that when I put on the eyeshadow that I want, it can blend out a lot easier. So as you can see, I'm just priming my whole entire eyelid so that it's all a nice consistent color. Okay, now, so from that same eyeshadow palette, I'm using the color Sierra, and I'm putting this in the creases of my eyelids. And the key to successful eyeshadow look is to have a well-blended eyeshadow look. So make sure that you guys are blending, blending, blending this color out so that you can have a nice transition. And here you can see I took a piece of tape and I put it at the corners of my eyes. And I'm doing this because I decided to put on nice eyeliner and in order to do that I want to have the eyeshadow kind of blend into the eyeliner so I'm making sure that I use the tape as a liner for where I want my eyeshadow colors to stop so that it doesn't bleed underneath the eyeliner that I'm going to be doing but yep with that being said I'm just blending out that color that I'm using so that it can transition nicely here you can see in my hand, I have my ColourPop eyeshadow. This is a matte eyeshadow. This is in the color Drift, I believe. And I'm only using a little, little, little bit just so that that dark color has a little, you know, a little color to it. Instead of it just being brown, I kind of want it to have like a little pink undertone to it. So now as you guys can see, I'm using a white color to define the lids of my eyes. I'm using the white color from my NYX Natural Shadow Palette. I got this palette from CVS. I think it was 7 or $8. But now I'm going back in with that eyeshadow palette from CoverGirl, the Goldens, and I'm using the color Sunkissed. I'm using this because it's a little shimmer, not too much but I'm using it to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and the front of my eyelids. And as usual, I never know how to put my eyeliner on when the camera's on, so I left and put my eyeliner on. Okay guys, so I'm back. And now is the moment of truth to see if my eyeliner actually looks good. So I'm gonna remove the tape. We're going to, I put on a light layer of foundation, now I'm going to put on an actual layer of foundation because as you can see, this is still there, this is still there, like, 
I put on a really light layer. I just, you know. So now I'm gonna actually put on some foundation. So now I'm going to be highlighting my face with the LA Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and I'm doing this so that I can accentuate the high points of my face and make them look a little bit higher. And now I'm going to be using the LA Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut and I'm going to be using this to contour my face and contour my nose. And now just take your damp beauty blender and just beat your face. Just beat it, beat it, beat it. And make sure you blend everything. Make sure there's no, you know, harsh lines or anything like that. Because the worst thing to have with a nice makeup look is to have harsh lines. So make sure you beat your face and blend out all those, you know, lines. And I tend to use two different beauty blenders. I have one beauty blender I use to blend out my highlight. And I have another beauty blender I use to blend out the contour so if you see me switching beauty blenders that's the reason why but you don't necessarily have to it's just my preference And now for my absolute favorite part is setting my foundation. I will be doing this with the CoverGirl Professional Face Powder. I don't remember what shade this is in, but as you can see, it's, it's pretty light. But it does a pretty swell job. I'm setting all the areas where I highlighted. And in a minute, you'll see I'll be setting all the places where I contoured with my Black Radiance Contouring Palette. So this first shade that you see me going in with is the sculpting shade and you use this basically as a transitioning shade into your contour. It looks a lot more neat when you have a transitioning color and it doesn't go straight into that harsh dark contouring color so that's what I'm using. Then after that I have the contouring color and I just simply use that to contour my face and around the perimeter of my face because the worst thing to have is a tanned nice beautiful melanin filled neck and then you look at your your face and it's just way too light so I use that contouring color to go around the perimeter of my face too and now you can see I brushed off all of the highlight the setting powder and I also use a small brush to get underneath my eyes here you see I'm using my Lumi highlighter I love this highlighter and I'm just using a small fan brush to fan that onto my face and just just watch the glow just just watch it and here I'm using the LA girl um, bronzer I also love this using this as a highlighter and I also use this for my nose the bridge of my nose and as you'll see I'll be using this for the my cupid's bow Now I'm just gonna be touching on my eyebrows. Um, I did them before I started my makeup, but from all that wear and tear from putting on the foundation and stuff like that, they kind of got a little bit dull. So I'm just fixing them up and I use the, the NYX Natural Shadow Palette and I use the darkest shade on that palette to do my eyebrows. Yes, I do use an eyeshadow. And if you would like, I could do an updated eyebrow tutorial because I did one a long time ago, but I think I took it down because the lighting wasn't so good. But yeah, so now I'm highlighting underneath my eyebrows. This is basically on top of my 
brow bone. And now just make sure you blend out that highlighter so that you have a nice blended highlight underneath your eyebrows. And now I'm going to be lining my lips with this uh, lip liner. I don't really know what shade this is. I just picked it up from the hair store, but it's basically like a brownish color and I'm using this to line my lips and I'm kind of using my fingers to blend out that harsh line because I don't really want a harsh line, but I do want it to be pronounced that I am wearing brown lip liner so that when I put on my gloss, as you guys can see I'm wearing a gloss with this look and I'm just using the brush to kind of further blend out that uh, lip liner here you can see I'm using a small pad I got this pad uh, to put on my eyeliner because I forgot to put on eyeliner and my mascara for my top and bottom lashes All right guys, so this is the finished look. This is a, a natural look, not like an everyday look, cause obviously, you know, I don't know, I'll be putting on foundation and eyeshadow and blah, blah, blah. This is a natural look, natural, not so natural look <laughs> that um, I did. Hopefully you guys like it. Onto the deets about my hair. So basically, I got this hair from AliExpress. Yes, this is AliExpress hair. And I got this hair originally like one year ago. I got this hair for one year ago. And I'll put like specific details in the description box below. But um, this is AliExpress hair. It was originally um, Brazilian body wave hair, but obviously I straightened it. And I got it in the inches 18, 16, and 20 inches. And then I had a closure. But um, obviously this is a new closure. And I've had this hair for so long. I bleached this hair. So before this hair was blonde. It was honey blonde. I'll insert a picture probably like right here or something like that. So that you guys can see. And I turned it into a UNA. I used this hair so many times. On and off, on and off, on and off. And so now I finally decided to cut the hair because I'm some somebody who I really cannot cut brand new hair. It's just not in me. I don't have the strength to do it. So I've had this hair for a year and I finally decided to cut the hair. This indeed is a unit. This is not a wig. This is not a wig that I bought from the store. This is not a sew-in. This is a unit. I can take this off if I wanted to, but I do not because I use this beauty here got to be glued love this so much like literally i put this on like probably like at the beginning of the week and i don't take my hair i don't take my unit off until probably a week later to re-put this on or to wash my hair braid it back up put this on and then it stays on for a good week as long as you're not like pulling and tugging on it all the time it will literally last for a week and you will not have to do anything to it a week later i might get a little bit of loose a little bit loose to just spray some water remove it put some on lay it back down and that's it that's all i do i don't take it off at night at night time i just put my hair in a regular bonnet and i go to bed wake up take the bonnet off i might like um bump the ends a little bit and then that's it really low maintenance hair um I do have a closure. This is a five by five closure. So it probably goes from like here. It will, it does go on, I feel it right now. It goes from here to back here. So this is larger than a regular closure. Um, usually closures are four by fours, but this is a five by five. So this is a lot wider than your regular average closure. And yeah, so um, my closure is actually a different kind of hair, long story, but basically um, my closure is body wave, Malaysian body wave, 
and I got this closure for free because I got this closure for free from um, a company I don't really remember the name of the company but I'll put it down in the description box and this closure is honestly so good I love this closure so much even though it's a different type of hair it still blends well with the um, Brazilian hair it has minimal 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 shedding and I dyed it it took really well to the dye um, and I cut it and it doesn't have split ends since I cut it there has not been any split ends I really 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 love both of the hairs that I have the one of the hair I have one of the hair oh my gosh one of the hair companies that I have in is from Woe wigs from Aliexpress and my closure is from another company also from Aliexpress um, I have in three bundles and one five by five closure and I did dye this hair and I also bleached the knots of my closure and I plucked the front and gave it baby hairs um, if you'd like to know any more details about this hair, you can uh, DM me or you can uh, check out my Instagram. I have a hair Instagram at hairmagic underscore CT and you can check out my website um, pinkminkhair.com and yeah i don't really have a lot of a lot to say about this hair but a lot of people have been asking me like is it a unit is it a wig is it a sewing did i cut it myself i did everything to this hair myself this is a unit with a five by five closure three bundles brazilian body wave with a malaysian body wave closure bleach knots i plucked the um the front and i cut it into a bob so and i also dyed it so yeah this is the final look Hopefully the back doesn't look crazy because I can't see it. But yes, and this hair is really flowy. It's as you can see, look. Ready? Ah, ah. <laughs> this hair is really flowy. It's not stiff at all. I've had this hair for a whole entire year and the hair is still not stiff. It's really, really good quality hair and it takes really well to curls if you guys are wondering. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about my makeup look, what products I use, I'm gonna try and get everything in the um, description box. Or if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about my unit, if you would like to purchase a unit, you can DM me on Instagram. Um, again, at hairmagic underscore CT. I am on campus and I do do them sometimes for people, um, but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video please make sure that you guys like subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and stay tuned for more